Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Team Trials 2024. This is the first time I'm bowling since 2014, which is the first time in 10 years. Hopefully it goes well for me. The point system and how you rank during the tournament is all based off of your day-to-day -to -day total point totals. So if I finish first today, I get one point. If I finish 100, I get 100 points. That's how this tournament works. The lowest points wins the tournament. So hopefully a good day every day and we'll have a solid tournament. But this is Team Trials day one for 2024. Hey guys, producer Matt here with The House Bowling. We hope you're enjoying today's new style of tournament vlog. For this PBA Tour season, Packy and I are looking to bring you more highlights of the tournaments as a whole rather than just focusing on Packy. There will still be plenty of Packy highlights, don't worry about that. However, we want to bring you scoring updates from the other members of the house, guys that appear on the channel sometimes, and the leaders of the tournament, focusing on the tournament as a whole. If you guys are excited about this format, or if you're not, please comment down below and let us know what you think. Our first tour stop is next week right here in Wichita. We're super excited. We got a lot of guys flying in. We're going to bring a lot of great content for you guys. So stick around, hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all the PBA stuff this season. Thank you. 
Now give us a full recap of how your day went. Oh, just never saw the picture until the very last game. And then spare shooting was atrocious. You know, when you don't see it, you try and make yourself do stuff and then it gets worse. So what do you think you should have done looking back? I, I should have shipped it to the gutter like fast, like a short pattern. The problem is like this place in years past, it do, like the gutter doesn't bounce all the time. But I think recently, to me, they feel like they level the lanes, to be completely honest. I don't know for a fact, that's just my guess. But the gutter actually hooked and you had to ship it there like a short pattern. And I wasn't getting it there fast enough. I, my break point was like five, six, and I think it needed to be like three, four. And I got reinforced game two because I shot 230, getting it to five, six. Just bad and then like, I was so focused on shot one that spare shooting was bad. I probably missed about 60 pins and spares. So make your spares, kids. As for me, my strategy, I was throwing the purple hammer um, the first four games, then I switched to the black hammer the next two. I kind of saw similar to what Nick was seeing where, you know, I was throwing my ball to five or six to try and stay away from the gutter. Cause for me, I definitely had some pairs where the gutter didn't hook, where I would miss a couple left and it would hang out there. Um, so what I try to do is keep it around five, six and going into those last two games, I think I switching to the black hammer, I actually was able to throw it to the gutter, but I never saw that picture in my mind, especially after shooting 250 game five. So game six comes around. I split on a couple pretty good shots after moving a little further in. Um, and then I get reinforced that that was the right picture going to the gutter when I moved way left frames nine and 10 the last game. But Overall, some really good bowling, some really good shot making. Um, I'm gonna try and continue the rest of the week to see the picture the right way and make a lot of good shots and uh, make almost all my spares because I only missed one makeable today, which is a solid day for six games of bowling. So obviously it helps when you're shooting a lot of single pins, but um, get the right picture again tomorrow and hopefully I'll be shooting a lot of single pins and striking a bunch tomorrow too. So that's my recap. Good luck in editing that, Matt.